Let's understand the color manager a little bit better. Any place you go on the Brizzy page, whether you are working with text or images or video or columns, you're going to find the options to apply color. Let's see how this color manager and picker works. I'm going to go to this column, go to colors, and this is probably the color manager with the most features that you will find, and that is for the column. The first thing, let's have a look at this area over here, which we often refer to as a color picker. This means you can simply drag this picker around to apply color to the column, or you can click anywhere within this area, and it will pick the color on which you click. As you click on it, you will see the code or the name of the color change here at the bottom. Right next to it is a use slider. A use slider, well, basically affects the color. So currently, if I put it up here and I give it that kind of red look, and I grab the use slider and I put it there on yellow, it's going to give us a yellow, then green, teal, blue, magenta, up to red. Next to it is the opacity slider. Opacity is the opposite of transparency. So if you want the background to be transparent, you grab the slider and you drag it all the way to 0%. To apply a little bit of transparency, just drag it up like this. Full opacity all the way to 100%. Below the color picker, you will see the default color swatches. This palette, if you click here on the cog, is determined by the colors that you input over here, and this will affect your global styling. Under here, you have the option to add in your own color by using the hex code. I will add it like so. You also have an option for gradient colors. Select here solid, and then choose gradient. You will be given two options to apply to your gradient color. To select the color you want to affect, you simply click on the little circle, and when you see the white dot in the middle, it means that color is currently selected. Now you can apply different colors to it, and you can also apply opacity to the various colors. With the gradient, you can choose linear or radial, and you can affect the radius over here by typing in the desired radius you want to achieve. Apart from the control you have here, you also have hover effects. This means that you can apply a different color to your hover effect. And all the settings that you see for the default state are also available in the hover state. Depending on the element or container, you can have additional functions up here. For this column, you have settings for border. The border controls are found within this as well as the styling for that border. and shadow the same. If you're looking for something and you cannot find it, there's a good chance that it's within the color picker and manager. For more Brizzy tutorials, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also join our conversation at our Facebook community and check out the website at brizzy.io.